through axles come in a few different styles, and they do essentially the same thing with slightly different mechanics. Depending on the brand you have, each one works a little different than the other, and I'm going to show you how each one works. The first style is a RockShox Maxle, and it has a threaded end that will go first through the fork. Start by putting a small dab of bite grease on the threads, then line up the hub with the dropouts of the fork and slide the through axle in. To tighten it down, start rotating the handle clockwise until the handle is nearly touching the fork leg. In its final position, you'll want to have the handle tucked up near the fork leg or parallel with the ground pointing backwards. When it's nearly touching the fork, close the lever to tighten the unit. When it's tight enough, the lever will leave an imprint on your palm. If you want to change the position of the handle, the Maxle has a unique way it can be adjusted. Take the axle out and you'll see this line on the head and these numbers on the body of the axle. You can push the head of the axle down to spin the lever without moving the rest of the axle, which will change the final position of the lever when it's tightened properly. Another version of the RockShox Maxle looks like this. It also has threads you will grease before you push it through the hub. With the lever in the open position, it will fit right into the notch in the collar. Use the lever handle to push on this notch to thread the axle into the fork. When the collar bottoms out on the fork, back it off a little bit, then you can move the lever out of the notch to freely rotate it without further tightening the axle. Get it lined up with its desired final position and close the lever. It should end up tucked up near the fork leg and it will leave an imprint on your palm when it's tight enough. There is also a Maxle that doesn't have a handle on it, but needs a six millimeter hex wrench to be fully tightened. Use a torque wrench if you can and follow the torque specs listed on the axle itself to properly tighten it. If your bike has a Fox fork, the through axle will look like this. The big difference here is the axle threads into a removable axle nut. Grease the threads and begin threading the axle in with the lever in the open position. Thread it in until it bottoms out on the fork leg, then back it off so it lines up with its desired closing position, which will be tucked up near the fork leg. If the lever is either too tight or too loose, you can adjust the position of the removable axle nut. Unthread the through axle a few turns and remove the small bolts and the plate holding the axle nut in. Rotate the nut a few degrees, which will allow the axle to close in its desired spot with the correct amount of resistance. When you close the lever, it should leave an imprint on your palm when it's tight enough. If your fork is an SR Suntour, your through axle is a Q-lock that looks like this. To operate this through axle, you need to open the lever, then push and turn the knob on the opposite side of the lever. This will automatically retract the through axle's mechanism and allow you to slide it out. To reinstall, keep the lever in the open position and turn the knob to reopen the mechanism. Now you can push it back through the hub. Close the lever, and if you need to adjust the tension, you can spin the lever while holding the knob. The lever should leave an imprint on your palm when it's tight enough. Remember to always check the front and rear axle for proper tightness before heading out on a ride.